Hey guys, it's Cass. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. So I know I look a hot, oily mess. Don't tell me. I know. It's like 90 degrees outside. I am hot. And I don't do too well with the heat. And the weather has been going up and down, up and down, up and down for like the longest. And now it's just hot. And my body does not know how to handle heat. I get... I become an angry black woman when it's hot outside. I asked my boyfriend. He doesn't like me. Like, we break up during the summer. Like, <laughs> we almost break up during the summer. So, yeah. Thanks for coming to another... Should I call this episode? Not episode. I don't... Whatever. Thanks for watching this other... Thanks for watching this Jamie... What's it called? Vlogging with Cass. I appreciate you. And this is number three. One of my good, good, um friends here on YouTube you know how you are I'm not gonna say your name right thing um I love her videos and all that good stuff she messaged me on Facebook and actually gave me this topic to actually talk about so basically what it is is um currently right now she's pregnant and her and her boyfriend has been together for quite some time and um she didn't tell me how long but quite some time and um her boyfriend has another baby a young son um, who she who he had the baby mother of the first child was pregnant when they first got together okay so basically she thinks that um, he's cheating might be cheating on her he's a musician okay so you know people girls groupies you know chase after the musicians so um, she's pregnant she's thinking like this could be her hormones, you know, she's tripping, all this stuff like that. Alright, so let me get some more details. Basically, she said, told me that he doesn't say I love you to her as much as he used to when they're around each other. Um, she said, sad to say, all they do is really have sex. Um, she's like, why don't we go to the movies? Why don't we go, you know, go out? Let's do something else besides have sex. So, she's dealing with baby mama issues with the other child you know the other woman to hit her boyfriend's second or well, first child and um so it's a lot of details you know and she she i got more details from her before i do this video and because i really didn't know what to say and right now i really don't know what to say but i'm gonna say something with the cheating situation um, she also said that she confronted him about it and they both were crying and he was like, I don't cheat on you. I haven't cheated on you. I love you. I want to marry you. What I say is, because what she wrote to me, she really didn't give me like evidence of him cheating, you know. So I would just say believe him until you can find something out, you know. Is he really cheating on you? Is he lying? You know, and so you can find something out like that. Um, believe him. You know, the most big thing, biggest thing in a relationship is trust. So if you can't trust him, y'all shouldn't be thinking about marriage. And, you know, y'all having the kid, you know, you're pregnant. And so you have to trust him because he's going to be in your life regardless for till the baby turns 18 and you haven't even gave birth yet. So that's a long ways away. Also with the baby mama issue, um just step out of it I know it's hard especially because you're with him right now you know that's your man you know you have a child in the way but what happens between them two needs to stay between them two um you know I know that you said that she has called drama you had to block her on Facebook and all that stuff like that but you know that's them and they have to work out their issues um when, when he puts that ring on your finger and y'all become married, then you can have some say, but you, can, you really don't have too much to say because he's the father and she's the mother, you're the stepmother. So, you know, she might dislike the child together, but, you know, like I like to say is they can be upset, they can hate, but you're the one who's with them. You're the one who, you know, will have that ring on your finger one day or you might already be engaged. I don't know all that, but he's yours and you have to have that confidence and know that he's yours he will not leave you he will not hurt you if he says he's not going to you have to trust him that's it especially if like i said you don't have any hard evidence that he's that he's cheating she told me that 
the baby was born before they got, you know, she was pregnant with the baby before they got together. So he's not, he didn't cheat there. Um, and has there been an incident where you found things out, like text messages and Facebook posts, you know, like I said in the last video, you know, you have to have hard evidence to know that he's cheating. If, it, if he says that he's not cheating, you have to believe him, point blank, until you find that evidence that he could be cheating on you. And with the baby mama, like I said, you let her, you let your man handle her because you really don't have any say in that part of that relationship. He's the, mo he's the father, she's the mother. They have that child. <coughs> you don't have any say in what they do. So let your man handle her and you just sit there and look pretty and let them deal with each other because you don't have any say over that situation and it shouldn't be stressing you out that much. So yeah, I basically tried to break down her whole letter and explain. The baby mama, I'm going to sum it up. The baby mama situation, you let him deal with her. Is he cheating on you? Do you have any hard evidence of him cheating? Do you find text messages? Do you see Facebook posts? Do you see this, that, and that, and forth? Then you go from there. Then you confront. But if you don't have any hard evidence, then you not, it, you, like you said, it might be your hormones. You might be going crazy for a few seconds.